Well, what if I were to tell you that we have pieced together some uh, a, a new map of Hyrule that contains several changes to the map and locations of different things. You can call this a spoiler if you want, but really it's just a lot of investigative work put together by analyzing all of the given footage and screenshots and all the official media released by Nintendo to determine the location of various aspects like towers and caves and malice and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and I'm really excited to present this to you guys. I want to give a huge shout out to the people over on the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit for putting this together. A uh, user OK-Squatch is the one who posted it, but there was a lot of work put in by various ones. And we'll link uh, to the full description and everything by this Reddit user down in the uh, description so you guys can go check it out for yourself. But before we dive into this really detailed map, I want to remind you guys that we are giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED Edition, also a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition, and a special Tears of the Kingdom PAX pin that you could only get by attending PAX. We've got one for, to give away for you guys. And we're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers to match 133 years of Nintendo. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And why not go down to the comment section below and let me know the very first thing you plan to do once you arrive on Hyrule itself. So once you get out of the starting area, what's the first thing you want to do when you're visiting Hyrule again? This video, by the way, is sponsored by the one and only Mason Conrad. Did you know the low quality thumbnails influence the credibility of your YouTube video? Luckily for you, I exist. Let me design your thumbnails, all of them. Rates are fair, I have a quick turnaround time, and I love working with people. Message me on Twitter for more information. All right, let's get into this map. And first off, uh, well, here, here's the map. Let's just throw it up. And we're going to go over all those individual markers, but I want to go through the description of what they put on the Reddit here for you guys so you understand what you're kind of looking at. So it says, hey, all, now that we're three weeks out, I thought I'd share an updated map with all the new stuff we've seen from gameplay footage and the final trailer with no leaks or spoilers. So there you guys go. This is a spoiler-free look at things. Again, big shout-out to YouTube channels like Zeltic and Louis Guy Bros, who have pointed out many of these locations. This map is really just a compilation of the hard work of many others. My map and editing skills aren't the best, but I think it'll suffice for now. Quick caveat, while this represents the content we have seen so far, it may not represent the actual map at all once, you know, one time during the game. We've seen a lot of inconsistencies in the footage so far. Sometimes there's a tower and sometimes there's not. Glyphs disappear. The labyrinths are sometimes floating. So keep in mind, any of this could be wrong, but this is what we can do to the best of our knowledge to date. So updates include the starting Sky Islands. This is a big one. There's a bunch of Redditors and credits for that. Then there's a new Glyph, Tower, Malisol, Swirl, Structure, and Sinkholes in the Gerudo area. New Malice in the Great Plateau, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just go over the map itself. And first off, we, the big thing you might notice right away is this big glob uh, down here that's a bit lighter of islands. Yeah, that is the Sky Island, the starting area that people have basically figured out. We actually did a video previously on a fan-made map of this area. If you guys want to go watch that video, I highly suggest you do so. Uh, but so that, getting that out of the way, let's just go right on down to the Gerudo Desert area down in the bottom left and just look at some of the new stuff. So there's a, a desert structure in the back, you know, that, that we're not sure what it is. That appears to be the one that rises out of the sand that we've seen before. Uh, you see the area with the sinkholes as well, and then a green swirl area. That's what we presume to be a Zone I Shrine, but we're not 100% sure. Uh, right near that sinkhole area. Uh, and then you'll see a tower structure up here near the path that we have that goes over to the Gerudo town. And above that, you see a marking. That's one of those, uh, you know, giant glyphs we see on the ground. Um, but if you go a, a little bit uh, back to where the sinkhole area is and go a bit north, you see what appears to be malice. This is one of those... Uh, Little lava structure looking holes we see on the ground when Link is flying in the air. We see them all over the ground. He hasn't visited one in the footage yet. Uh, so that, that's what that is. Uh, if we go a little bit to the right, we'll see another marking on the ground. And then a little north of that is a hydration station. I'm not really sure what that means, but it is a thing that is noted on the map. Again, I'm not sure what that is. You guys let me know what you think a hydration station is is by that forested area. What's interesting though is right to the right of the hydration station and before the Sky Island, you see a lot of these little malice puddles, portals, things that go underground. Uh, there's you know a, a quick batch of five right here that I find quite interesting. Not really sure what they are, 
uh, or yeah, again, lots of theories around those. Uh, but then to the south of the Sky Islands, we see another tower. We also see one to the west of the Sky Islands as well. And then a swirl up there in the middle of the central Hyrule Plains. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, if we continue for the bottom of the map and go way south, we see a giant white circle. That is a storm. That is one of those storm clouds that we see that people speculate is either a dungeon or some crazy thing that we have to... Heck, maybe we, we jump into it and we're fighting and jumping on sky boats. And there's been a lot of weird theories around that. Uh, and right to the right of that, we see our first, you know, confirmation of a cave area. So we got some caves there. And then to the right of that, uh, going more east, we see another tower. To, directly north of that tower is a uh, another little patch of malice. Now to the east and west of that malice patch, we do see a couple swirls. Again, these are things that we presume to be shrines, but we're not 100% sure. Uh, then we see another tower way off to the right with that blue dot. And then coming back in more towards the Sky Island, we end up seeing another patch of malice and another tower along with another marking that is directly to the east of the supposed area of the Sky Island. Again, these are not 100% accurate stuff. This is just what we can glean from some very limited footage and analysis. All right, when we go a bit north it, to the right of where Hyrule Castle is, you'll notice another swirl, so another potential Zonai uh, shrine or something, and then another uh, glyph on the ground followed by another patch of malice. What's interesting about what I, I see they're doing with Death Mountain here is they have marked Death Mountain with a giant malice circle. I'm not quite sure that I agree that it is malice. After the most recent one where he's doing some of the moon jumping in that most recent trailer, uh, we get a, a bit of a closer look at what's coming out the top of the uh, Death Mountain. And to me, personally, it doesn't really look like Malice. It looks more like just lava smoke stuff. Uh, I could be wrong, of course. It's not really moving that much in that footage, but whatever. That's me, my, my thoughts, anyways. Uh, to the west of the Korok Forest, which you know we know has some changes or significant changes to it, if it's there at all, is, an, is more caves. Uh, so again, all based on the footage here. Uh, if we go all the way to the top left, we see another big storm cloud. That's one we've known about for a while, uh, kind of up in the Rito or Hebra lands and stuff like that. Uh, to the north of that, we see another tower. To the south, we see another glyph on the ground. And then the south of that glyph, we see another tower with you know, another glyph and then a swirl and another glyph. And that's pretty much Everything they're able to see so far. One thing I did want to point out, and I didn't make a bigger deal about this in one of my previous videos, is when we saw some of that new footage and we saw the Gerudo Desert area, we actually saw a shot of the heroines. And what's interesting is there's only three or four heroines there when there originally was seven, and then there's an eighth one hidden a little, a little somewhere else. I find this to be fascinating that it appears some are missing, whether they've crumbled and fallen into the desert uh, whether they fell on the ground or maybe they shot up into the sky. We don't know. But what we do know is that there definitely is not seven heroin statues there. Why? What is up with that? That, to me, is one of the more interesting aspects we saw in the recent footage as well. So this is a really cool map, and I don't know if you guys agree with it, with the exact locations. Again, a lot of this based on analysis by several different people. Uh, but I want to give a big shout out to the Reddit, uh, Tears of the Kingdom Reddit, in particular the user, again, OK Squatch, uh, for kind of putting this all together. And as he said, he gives credit to a whole bunch of other Reddit users and other YouTubers. So uh, awesome, guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for tuning into this really interesting look at the map of Hyrule. Uh, there's going to be so many more changes than what we've seen here. Again, this is just based on limited footage. If this is what we can get off limited footage, imagine how many actual changes there are to the world of Hyrule. It's going to be crazy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.